This lesson aims to help you maximize your practice time by using what I'm gonna to refer to as compound guitar exercises. Now these are exercises that target multiple areas of your playing at the same time and therefore it enables you to get more work done in less time, so to speak. Let's start with today's example, which sounds something like this. So this is the pentatonic fourths economy picking drill. This is a great way to work on your economy picking by focusing on string pairs and changing directions and all those difficult parts of economy picking. But it also does a few other functions. First of all, it introduces us to the two, probably the two least used pentatonic boxes, which are great sounding boxes for your blues playing. But they're also really handy if you wanted to get into pentatonic superimposition, for example, which is a very popular thing to do to kind of create modal sounds, yada, yada, yada. More lessons on that in the future. It's also great because it encourages you to roll your fingers when you're traversing strings and in fact covers pretty much every combination of handing off from one finger to another finger. If we just take a look at that first box that we played, this is box number two. Now we're playing in the key of G minor. This is going to give us essentially frets six, eight on the low E string, five, eight, five, eight on the A string and the D string. And then we have five, seven on the G string and then six, eight, six, eight on the B and E strings. Now, if we don't shortcut the fingering, what this essentially gives us is finger one handing off to finger two as we play like this. And then a roll with finger number four from eight on the A string up to eight on the E string. So essentially we're isolating a pair of strings and we're playing from the lower string to the higher string with the lower notes of this scale box. And then we play the high notes in the opposite direction. We go from the higher string of the pair to the lower string of the pair like this. If we move to the next part of our box, what we essentially get is a roll with finger one as we go from five to five. And then another roll with finger four which is really rather challenging. Then we get a handoff again with finger number one. And this time we're handing finger three across to finger four as we roll from, or rather as we transition from seven to eight. The next part is gonna give us finger one handing off to finger two, and then finger four handing off to finger three like this. And then we have a finger two roll like this and another finger four roll. So just within that position, we've got so many finger crossing possibilities. And because we've laid them out with these rolling type shapes, it really makes it a challenge to keep this sounding clean. So you can practice this both with a clean sound or with lots of distortion like I played in the intro because the distortion is gonna reveal a lot of the slop around your string changes. So this is a good thing to play with both sounds in this instance. The next shape we play is gonna be uh, shape number three or rather box number three. Again in G minor, we're gonna be focusing around around this fret number eight position, and we're gonna get this uh, from top to bottom, let's say. Let's do 10, eight, 11, eight. And then with finger three and one, this is gonna be important, three and one, we're gonna play 10 and then seven. And from here, we have fingers four and two, which is a really tricky move as we play from 10 to eight on the low three strings like this. And in this instance, we're still gonna isolate these string pairs, but we're gonna play from high to low on the highest two notes of our string pair. And then we'll play from low to high on the furthest this way, the lower notes on our string pair. So what we get is this, we get a three to four handoff, followed by a one to one roll, a four to three handoff, and then a stretch with a one to two roll, a four to four roll like this, and then a two to one handoff, which is something we missed from the previous shape, so we're getting it in this shape. The next one we're gonna have is four to four and then two to two as rolls all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
and that's really tough. Now, of course, you can reverse these, starting at the bottom of shape three, and then moving from the top of shape two back down for a bit of practice variation. But really, this is gonna give you everything you need in terms of string crossing. It's also gonna drill your economy picking in the process, and it's gonna get you used to the feeling of these two less used pentatonic shapes. So it's kind of covering a whole bunch of things all in one, which is the goal with these kind of compound guitar exercises. We're trying to address all sorts of different parts of your playing all at once. We have some left hand drill, some right hand drill, some fretboard visualization drill. It's a very, very powerful exercise. And I'm going to encourage you to practice this one very thoroughly. Of course, you'll need to change your strings to do this. Um, if you're going to put elixirs on, you might need to change it less frequently because, of course, they'll last for ages. Sound great in the process. Now, one last thing with this one the best way to scale this exercise is not necessarily with speed, but with how frequently you transition from string to string. So if you're having difficulty with this, try isolating a single pair of strings and just focus on those for the time being. So let's try this. Mm -hmm. 